Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Customer Encounters. Now, this one, this one is the biggest one of them all. So, what happened was, I was at my place of work, and I was alerted to the fact that there was an issue happening in the man's restroom. So I decided to check it out and I had a positive attitude about it going in. So I go into the man's bathroom and what I saw was the most horrifying thing that I have ever seen. I walk in and what I see on the floor is puddles, puddles of poo puddles of wet poo on the floor and they are leading from the urinal the first urinal to the last stall and I realized what had happened was there was a man and he had been standing at the urinal and then he got a case of the diarrheas and it caught him by surprise the first thing that struck me was actually not the visual that I just painted you. It was the smell. And it was so rancid and so abundant. It just surrounded my body and filled me with regret. So then I grabbed the mop because I am one with that mop. And uh, grabbed the cleaning supplies and rolled it on into the restroom. Then, as I start mopping it up, I realize that the man that ha had this happen to him is still in the last stall and still going. And in between my mops, I can hear it coming out of his orifice and it is just all liquid and it is just like a waterfall just dripping on down and then he flushes and then it just keeps dripping on down and it was just awful so then after he finally leaves I go back in there and I swear to you I had to go in there in like two minute intervals because I started to get sick because of that smell and so finally I clean up outside the stall and then I open the stall after he's left the building and then there's Mo. He left me Mo treats on the ground and then to top it off I look at the flushing device on the toilet and he has left me his underwear soaked in diarrhea. A Christmas present, an early Christmas present for me there. And at that point, I was just like, I don't even know what to do anymore with my life. So, I grabbed it and I threw it away. And then I took it out to the dumpster. And finally, after about an hour and a half, I had finally cleaned it all up. But that wasn't it. After I had cleaned it, I walked out in the hallway that leads from the restrooms into the normal flow where they got, where people is shopping. And I saw a little thing on the ground. And as he was walking out, it must have fallen out of his underwearless pants onto the ground. And I had to pick up that piece of paper. And then I was alerted to the fact that there was something on the floor out further on the floor. So I, so I go and I see that there is a long string of used toilet paper on the ground crumpled up with brown spots all over it. And so I picked it up and I threw it away. So anyway, then it was over. Then it was all over. Then the guy, the next day, comes back to the stall. 24 hours after. 
he doesn't, I fe- if that happened to me, I would give it a good wake, you know? Like, I'm gonna, like, let my shame set in and float out of me before I step back into that establishment. But he decided to come back, and it's, it's an elderly man, and I noticed that his white sneakers were slightly off-white. And that is how I'm going to end this story for you. I know this is the longest customer encounter I've ever done, but trust me, it was the longest I ever experienced. So thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you later.